Florida's landscape can be very dry at times and then turn into a wetland the next. Either situation you will deal with some sort of moisture, whether humidity or rain. That is why it is important to know good tinder sources in Florida. Here's a list of my top three, starting with the bald cypress. When you find cypress knees in a tree with a wide trunk, you found a cypress. What we're going to do is we're going to take our knife here and just start scraping some of this outer bark away. Once we scrape some of this stuff off here, this little bit of gray outer bark, we get into this darker orangey red color here. We can just take our knife and just work it like so. See that leaves us with this ball of fiber right here. Okay, so now we can just take and peel that little bit of dry fiber off. All we do is just continue that process. Okay. And this is how you would do it on a live bald cypress have to be careful with these ones because they're alive so if you get too far down it gets wet this stuff here just under that outer bark is usually pretty dry right here we have a really good and dead cypress you can see that it's hollowed out completely you can see when I hit that I can push that whole thing in so now we can take all these strips here that's good and dead. Lots of good tinder in there. If you can find a dead one, even better. One of our bread and butter tinders is going to be from this palmetto. Cabbage palm works just the same, but the beauty of the saw palmetto like this here is they kind of grow at a, an angle. Okay, so if it rains, these stay really dry underneath. Okay, and if you get any moist areas from the top, you can see that this is darker here. Just simply tear that off and get rid of it because there's plenty to go around. If we look down through here, we can see that there's palmetto, palmetto, palmetto. You know, you can't see them all down there, but it just keeps going. And you can see how they grow at this, this angle, which gives us all that protection on all this. So I can come over here and just grab a hold of all this great tinder. Okay, even the wet stuff will dry. If you got time, you can keep it. Um, but if you're just trying to get a fire going, you might as well just get rid of it. What I've done here is gathered, in my opinion, the three best tenders you will find in Florida. The reason that, uh, that I think these are the best is because these are the most abundant. And also, you can usually find these tenders dry even when it's wet. So we have a ball of palm fiber. You can get it from the saw palmetto or the cabbage palm. Maleluca, which I had a whole video on Maleluca, but we're going to use it in this video too, just to show you the differences in the tinder. Then we have a ball of bald cypress. So we're going to use the sun in a magnifying lens to ignite little balls we're going to roll up. Okay, you want them nice and condensed, and then we're going to make a bird's nest out of the tinders and test each one uh, how it will blow into flame using an actual tinder bundle. We need to finish processing down our tinder and make six separate nests, three for the ferro rod and three for the magnifying lens. You can see how Maleluca has layers of paper. Tear those down to break up easier and keep one more for holding your nest. You can see how compact and fine the fibers are in Cypress. As we hit it with the ferro rod, we see it just wants to smolder. It's great for fire carry, and if you give it enough oxygen, it will flame up. Maleluca is like the birch in a way. One strike and it burns a black smoke and burns hot.
Same with the palm fibers here. Flame up is no problem and heat is good. Now each ball is placed in the middle of the bundle and hit with the magnifying lens to create an ember. This way we can see how well they blow into flame. First up is palm fibers which perform just fine. Then cypress which takes on a great ember but was finicky to flame up because of its dense fibers. Again, enough oxygen will create flame with cypress though. And finally, Maleluca. Took longer to ignite and blow into flame, but worked out with a little patience. Try this method on tinders in your area. 